A 15-year-old boy shot and injured in Milwaukee last night as part of a larger concern around the number of teenagers involved in Milwaukee shootings. Our Mary Jo Ola joins us now with efforts to keep young people safe. Mary Jo. Carol, this month alone, Milwaukee police say four teens have been killed, 11 survived being shot at. Now, whatever the number is, people across this community are continuing to get it, dedicate themselves to trying to help keep young people safe. He shot him down. He fought for his life at the end of the day. Just this week, family and friends of 17-year-old Preston Gilpate found themselves in a situation that no one should be in, holding a vigil after the high school senior was killed in a shooting near 71st and Hampton. There are organized efforts across Milwaukee that work with youth to try and stop this kind of violence. We provide free access to creative services throughout the community. LaShondra Vernon is the executive director at Artists in Education Incorporated. Her team works in places like schools, libraries, and parks. They were behind this vibrant mural at 49th and Burleigh. That's a way that you can engage in positive reinforcement for talent instead of the negative reinforcement for bad behavior. So it's really about getting early access to giving them better choices, giving them more hope restoring their personal identity so that they believe they're just as valuable as anyone else. Children's Wisconsin says this year, 71 young people have come to their emergency department after being shot. The average patient age is 14 and a half. It gets tiring to cons constantly have uh, new cases. Um, however, each new case is an opportunity to make a difference. Project Ujima at Children's Wisconsin focuses on intervening and preventing violence. That includes helping families navigate the health system, plus programming and services that follows them beyond the hospital walls. Dr. Michael Levis is the medical director. There's so much more to their life that's going to happen. And I think that's where Ujima steps in and has a huge, huge impact on these kids, you know, seeing a future. Children's Wisconsin says out of their 71 gunshot victims that they treated, seven of those died. I should note that data from Children's was made recently available from as recent as July. Live in Milwaukee, Mary Joola, TMJ4 News. Yeah, numbers we truly hate to hear. Mary Jo, thank you very much.